You can see some of this drawing um, by the most level my bon Sarah this morning. อ่าถ้าทีนี้เนี่ยเราไปสวยทาราผิดไปเลยที่หาก็ต้องเนี่ยตาไหนปันต้องเนี่ยตาไหนปันสุดาดิโลบาโตตาโมหะภามะไม่
ethics, the training of uh, psychology, and the training of wisdom. And again, the same thing. These are th these three um, <coughs> lines underneath. They talk about the three aspects. Um, the three aspects of the cycle of suffering, and we can also say they represent the three roots of unwholesomeness. And then, um, in order to overcome them, we need the a four part, the a four part right understanding or right attitude. The second one, right thought or right emotion. The third one, right speech. The fourth one, right action. The, um, <clears throat> uh, the fifth one, right livelihood, and then right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. When those uh, eight factors work together, then we will be developing threefold training. And <clears throat> the, and this one, okay, is, 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 uh, this is a symbol that we can see everywhere. That one day, okay, life will end with death, so everybody will die. And before we die, um, every day on daily, on daily basis, we have to uh, reflect on our life through these four simple mathematical symbols. And this one plus, okay, what kind of plus have I got today? Is it negative? Am I being plus on the negative side or on the positive side? And minus, what have I got on the minus side? Is it for the positive or for the negative? In the same way, the multiplication, what have I multi multiplying today? Is it for the good side or for the bad side? And division, what have I con uh, distributed to other people? Is it for the good or for the bad? And this one, to show that the way to ultimate peace, nirvana, is only one. Yeah, that's the four um, uh, mindfulness, foundation of mindfulness. Again, this one is a little bit... Um, you have many symbols, slightly more sophisticated. You have four here, you have three here, you have one, you have two, and you have three here, okay, three lines. These three lines, again, they talk about the three roots of unwholesome emotion. And um, they, they exist in our mind, in our mind, so we have to focus our heart, our mind, with those three, uh, four symbols. Where that, okay, we have distributed all the, the, the bad thing, all the bad thing or, or good thing, okay, what have we multiply, uh, anything minus today, anything plus today, good side or bad side. Of course, these four, these four uh, say that our body um, is composed of four elements, four elements, the earth, the fire, the water, and the wind. And and the, the three, the three is that the, 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 those three, we look at them, we look at this body with greed, with anger, and with delusion. And as a result, number one, that's the mind is the, the, the crucial thing. So, like this, the way to end, the way we are going to end is number two. Number two, that is, okay, either um, to good rebirth or bad rebirth. Now, the, this one, um, you, you have the, the Bodhi tree, of course, this is more positive. The, 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 um, again, you have four here, three here, two here, one here, and, and four. 
Yeah. The, this is the, the Four Noble Truth. The Four Noble Truth, if, if you look at them, you are going to see the, <coughs> the three characteristics of the world. There's a worldview, a, a worldview. And then when you do that, you actually do realize mind and body. The mind are two of them. And when you do that, you achieve peace, which is nirvana, which is one. And the way to, to achieve that is that, okay, uh, there's understanding, okay, uh, understanding, the understanding is uh, classified in four stages, there's four areas. These four, we can also say the four foundation of mindfulness. And you have more here, uh, you have more here. Uh, 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 this is the cycle of suffering in three, uh, from three aspects. And in order to overcome them and reach um, a peace here, you have the, the methods here. The methods, the four foundation of mindfulness, four kinds of effort, the four kinds of um, and it depends that this is, you know, the, the um, instrument to fulfill uh, our effort, our, our aim, and then. Uh, for, uh, five kinds of, you know, um, uh, faculties and five kinds of power and um, uh, seven um, factors of enlightenment and then eight, four parts. All together you have 37. And plus you have 10 kinds of parami, 10, and then four Brahma Vihara. All together, with, with mind you have all together 52. And this is right understanding when the eyes are open. So, uh, right understanding once you know, we have uh, realized the, what we have discussed earlier. And w once you have realized that there is only one lotus, the lotus that has freed itself from the mud and the water. And of course, this is a general a general depiction of um, uh, living beings as they are. You have four lotuses. Um, the lowest one is still deep in the mud and the water, okay, subject to being eaten by um, all the creatures. So someone who is not spiritually developed is, is subject to um, <coughs> being dominated by um, all sorts of uh, defilement, but as as we move up spiritually, you know, those lotus lotuses, you know, some of them they come up the above the mud, some of above the water, and some of them they are in touch with the with the sun and the, the blossom. And that uh, this one uh, you may be familiar with the three, okay, it's animal, the rooter, the snake, and the pig. And the, the, the root is, is greed, and a snake symbolizes anger, and the pig, okay, that's a delusion. And this is an empty house, an empty house, there's no one in it. Um, our, our body is like an empty house, there's no owner. Anyone can come in and go. So. Any kind of uh, discomfort, disease, starting from headache, cramp, and 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 aches, and sitting long like this, uh, up to cancer, you know, anything can come to this body. And this, so the, the sun is the sun is setting soon. So life uh, has has limited time, so what we have to do is you know, light this man. Uh, rowing fast, so we had to make effort so that we reach the shore. And you can see here, man and, and a, a bird, okay, they are dependent on each other. In the same way, mind and body, they coexist, they work together. And this one, a man is uh, sweeping, sweeping, is, is cleaning. And you can uh, look at this uh, together with the sun. The sun tells you that life is limited. The sun is not going to be there forever. It comes up, then 
um, it said <coughs> it goes down in the same way we have uh, these are about the operation of the six senses the six senses of of, um, uh, uh, of human being you can see the eye the ears the nose okay the, the eye the ear the nose the tongue the body and the mind six senses the eye is like a snake it never wants to look straight okay is is always um, has something uh, to, you know to, 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 to avoid and ears is like crocodile which um, which is fond of only a cool area in the water um, and we don't want to hear anything disturbing you know that's the nature of the ear and our nose our nose is like a bird you know, our nose also doesn't want to um, you know, smell anything bad just like a bird which likes to fly up in the sky free from any bad smell and then the tongue the tongue is very um, Fond of fond of food, um, fond of is eating all the time. Is like a, a domestic dog. Uh, is is attached to taste, and the fifth one, the body, is like a wild dog in the forest. You know, a wild dog <coughs> is uh, is not very active most of the time, um, and and the, the the mind is like a monkey. Uh. And you can see a, a big mountain, okay, very solid, unshakable by the wind. In order to for the mind to become like this, we need these three, these three, the three for training, to, to train in sila ethics, to train in psychology, meditation, and the, in wisdom. Um, this rabbit is is in the moon so the sign of the moon is uh, being cooling and and being calm so we need to we should practice we, we should be practicing our mind you know uh, to to be calm like that and uh, this is a peacock this is um, a sign of you can see here also the sun and 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 here the the peacock uh, protects okay its tails with its life is very very, uh, very protective of its tail in the same way as human being we will be uh, beautiful only if we protect our moral behavior and this is again shunyata emptiness like nirvana So this is Singapore. <laughs> this is Singapore. And you can see the rain. Rain falls, okay, very often. It's like what we see in Pali Brahma Vihala, the divine abiding. The, the, the rain falls on everyone, rich and poor. It doesn't care which region you belong to. The rain comes down for everyone. So in Singapore, um, people live in harmony like this, just like the rain. It welcomes people from all faith and uh, from all ideas. Uh, in addition to that, the Malayan also, you know, uh, splashes water, which is uh, cooling. So uh, with these uh, Dhamma messages, the most vulnerable Kupa Bunchu my phone Saro So this is the gift for the ten years anniversary. Sad Now uh, um, I'm asked to translate briefly the Dhammato earlier. He he focuses on focuses on two things. 
Um, the, the, the first thing is uh, general um, uh, Buddhist practice, uh, shall we say, how to develop our mind. <coughs> and, and of course this is to, uh, this the motto is given to um, mark the 10th anniversary of Oxford Buddha Vihara in Singapore. Uh, this Dhammato is aimed at all uh, uh, people from all um, uh, nationalities, ethnic groups, and religion. Um, it's, it's an offer to them as a gift, as a precious gift. And this gift is, um, is, is coming from good heart. So um, the, the first basic quality as a human being is that we have to have good heart. Good heart so, so that our thinking um, should have good intention, our speech should have good will so that it doesn't hurt anyone and our action should be beneficial to our seven other. So that's the basic of good heart. And <clears throat> um, this good heart once is developed will lead to uh, final peace, uh, lasting peace, Nibbana. So all religion and everyone, all living beings okay, uh, should be uh, compassionate towards each other and we should be treating each other equally. Um, this is the basic principle of good heart and compassion he starts from. From here he extends a little bit that is, um, as in the Burmese Buddhist tradition, we talk about uh, the three, not, not the three, the, the, um, the five gems, uh, but, uh, the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha, and then the parents and the teacher. Uh, they are very important. The first three, they are important for us spiritually, to grow spiritually. The other two, teachers and parents, they are very important for us to grow socially and professionally. So um, our life is enhanced when we uh, respect them. <coughs> so this is also part of being good heart, having good heart. And um, from there he goes to the second message which is deep reflection on meditation. Meditation. This is to say that life um, is not certain. It can come to an end any time. Um, life can, can end, you know, we can die when we sleep, when we are sleeping, when we are walking, when we are working, when we are eating, any time, uh, it, it can just happen. And <clears throat> it can happen on any of the day. So death has no calendar. We are not actually in control when it comes to this. That is why um, it's very important to know that our time is, is very limited and not to waste our time with petty arguments. So at least we should try to purify our minds so that we achieve at least the, the first stage of sainthood, sota panna, the stream enter. Um, <clears throat> of course the most venerable uses uh, very elaborate and poetic language of the Shan and um, as in summary, he is talking about that life uh, is very precious, but uh, the time is limited. So to be to live mindfully, to live mindfully, look at our body. Okay, is full of uh, the disgusting things. Uh, anything that comes out of the body, there's nothing um, pleasant. That is why, okay, instead of uh, tendering our body, looking after our body, hundred uh, and all the time dedicating our energy to the body alone, we should also pay attention to developing the mind. <coughs> um, and mm, the uh, it's, uh, types of meditation he mentions are both samatha and vipassana calm meditation and insight meditation. He uh, explained in detail the dependent origination, um, how negative emotion arises and how they can be brought to an end. That's Padijasamupada. 
ที่นี่เจอเราใช่ไหมพงษ์สารพยาโคจาเรตยาอันนี้เช่าไม่สวยอันเช่นนั้นเช่าไปชิบอะไรแต่เช่าก็รอสิสิเดนากองท่าไม